am DC, host of Our Side Jive, and I want to welcome you to my daily dose. It is Sunday, September 1, 2019, and you are witnessing my Siege on Normalcy Tour, day 3-0. Now, before we get started, I want to thank you guys again for your concern, your thoughts, and prayers during my recent eye surgery. Apparently, uh, it's starting to work, so uh, let's talk some rock and roll. On this day in rock history, guys, the Grateful Dead reunited with drummer Mickey Hart on the album Blues for Allah. It was the eighth studio album by the Dead and released on this day in 1975. It was the band's third album on their own Grateful Dead Records label and their third studio album in a row. The year was 1978, and Styx released its signature album, Pieces of Eight, a triple platinum smash representing Styx's last progressive-leaning project, and a tour de force moment for Styx frontman Tommy Shaw, who had a pair of hits with Renegade and Blue Collar Man. Now, Australian rock band In Excess played their first ever concert on this day in 1979. Where, you ask? Because I know you're asking where. At the Ocean Beach Hotel in Yumina, I guess, on the central coast of New South Wales. Today, guys, you two released their debut three-track EP on this day, 1979 was the year. Simply titled Three, that's right, Three, and set the stage for everything that would follow you two. Also on this day, a notable ending as The Who released It's Hard, then pledged to call it quits on this day in 1982. That's not the way it worked out though. But the album still marked the last with drummer Kenny Jones, who had replaced Keith Moon after Moon's death in September of 1978. On this day in 1989, the six times platinum Dr. Feelgood album became who? You guys are so freaking smart. That's right, Motley Crue's best-selling album. It was the fifth studio album by the crew. Dr. Feelgood topped the Billboard 200 chart, which is the band's only, only album to claim this position as of 2019. It was the first album Motley Crue recorded after their quest for sobriety and rehabilitation in 1989. In addition to being Motley Crue's best-selling album, it is highly regarded by music critics. Well, we don't listen to those guys. They're always wrong. But we do listen to fans. And the fans said it was the band's best studio album. So I rest my case. And, guys, this is huge. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame was dedicated on this day in 1995. The museum slash Hall of Fame is located in downtown Cleveland, Ohio, if you didn't know, on the shore of Lake Erie that documents the history of rock music and the artists, producers, engineers, and other notable figures who have influenced its development. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Foundation was established on April 20, my birth month. Just reminding you guys, you know, it's gonna, gonna come up again here soon. 1983, April 20, 1983. Is that date significant? 
by Amit Erdogan, founder and chairman of Atlantic Records. In 1986, Cleveland was chosen as the Hall of Fame's permanent home, and the museum was dedicated on this date in 1995. That's right, September 1. Now here's a cool fact. Erdogan heard Led Zeppelin's demo early on and knew that those guys would be a smash hit. He had just only heard like a few songs, right? And he signed them as quick as he could to his company, Atlantic Records. And Erdogan, you were so right. Because Led Zeppelin still rocks. And kiddies, that's rock and roll. And raps, my rock history lesson a day. I know, I know. Tissues. <laughs> but hold those tears because I'll be back tomorrow with more history of the classic rock legends every day. Join me as I peel back those pages and explore the past, present, and future of the rock legends on my daily dose of rock music. Guys, don't forget to check out my upcoming shows this week, Tuesday, and again on Thursday evenings at the new Vocal Media Studios in North Dallas. We're going to be coming at you live and worldwide at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Both 60-minute shows are packed full, and I mean full, of music and now visual art, guys. So join us at VocalNow.com, and it's always vocal with a... God, you guys are so freaking smart. K, man. If you'd like to check out my Daily Dose archives, you can go to my YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash Barside Jive Live and look in the Daily Dose playlist for more content from me. While you're there, click that big ass red subscribe button and subscribe for free. And then we'll let you know when we got something new. Thanks in advance for your likes and shares too, guys. Your likes and shares are, are really uh, awesome. And be sure to check out my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Barside Jive Live. My Instagram is at Barside Jive. My website is barsidejive.com. And my YouTube channel, once again, youtube.com forward slash Barside Jive Live. And I know I told you. I know I told you already. I'm going to tell you one more time. Now, guys, thanks for hanging out with me this evening. I really appreciate you being here for my daily dose. Always nice to have an audience. And always remember my Barside Jive mantra. We drink. Sometimes we drink heavy. But we always drink responsibly. Guys, keep in mind, you just got one life to live, so let's make it count. Let's do it together. I will see you next time. Peace, love, and rock and roll. Oh, by the way, if you guys did experience some head, neck, or back tingles during this show and have an overwhelming sense of a deep, relaxing feeling, be advised that my content now does contain ASMR. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you soon. Like tomorrow. Is that soon enough? We'll see you guys. Barsidejivelive.com